Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, where's my, there's my blue ghost that has a black background. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you very quickly how to make an emote that has a transparent background. And you can do that with Paint 3D, which is free with, um, with Windows. So I'm going to right click it and open with Paint 3D. Okay. And then I'm going to hit control and zoom in by just with the mouse wheel holding down control and moving your mouse wheel can zoom in and out. So I just want to get a bigger image of it. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit the magic select tool and it selects, it will default select, you know, what it thinks you want, which that, that's what I want. That's the area I want it to look at. I'm gonna hit next. Now it's automatically outlining what it thinks that I want. But if there was more there, then I would just need to click it. So let's say I wanted some black in there. I would just click that to make it bigger. So, you know, I, maybe I wanted some black background and or a black outline or something. OK, so you can just click on. But let me um, undo all of this because I don't want that. So I'm hitting Control Z to undo all of it. OK, so it's highlighting the ghost. That's what I want. So now I'm going to hit done. And now it pops out the ghost. Boom. Now I'm going to move the ghost to the side. The thing I don't like about it is when it does it, it kind of animates it and makes it bigger. So now it's literally bigger than the box. So it doesn't line up perfectly anymore. I find that kind of irritating. In any event, so I'm going to pull the ghost to the side. Now I'm going to highlight the background and just hit the delete key that deletes the background. Now I'm going to hit my canvas button up here and turn on transparent canvas. Now my canvas is transparent. I highlight the ghost. I drag him back here. I center him up. This is kind of a manual thing to get him centered, but you know, close enough. Boom. And now I just hit, I just go to file, save as image, save, and we'll call that uh, blue ghost transparent. Boom. Now I have a transparent blue ghost right there. And now I just need to load it up into Twitch. And the way that we do that into Twitch is we're going to go to our emotes. Well, let's let's show you over here. Let's bring up here. So I know that we got a lot of streamers that watch the show and some people are new, like Syax is a brand new streamer. So you just go to emotes. Bam. And then what I'm going to do is this is my like, these are all my emotes here. So these are the free emotes that you get just for following the channel. These are my tier one emotes. So if you're a tier one subscriber, you have access to these 31 emotes on top of the follower emotes. And then you also have access to five animated emotes. If you're a tier two subscriber, you get these emotes. And if you're a tier three subscriber, you get these emotes as well as the modifiers. So our blue ghost is a tier one emote. I'm going to get rid of it, remove from slot, and I'm going to go ahead and delete it because I don't want it anymore. Now I'm going to hit the one open slot that I have. And I'm going to click that and we're going to go into emotes and there's my blue transparent ghost. And we're going to call him. Uh, I don't I don't know what to call him. I don't know what I called him before. We'll just say uh, blue. And hit upload. And done. And that's it. That's all we got to do. So that's making and uploading a transparent emote. I should grab that and post it on the YouTube machine. Sometimes it doesn't show up right away. It seems to take Twitch a few minutes to actually recognize it. 